Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here just checking the energy around you. See, I'm going to see what's going on with your energy and what's going on in the background. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest, you know, don't try to force it, right? And thank you so, so much, everyone. Seriously, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are always super nice to me out here. And that's amazing because, you know, um, it's a jungle out there, right? But uh, yeah, you guys are so nice to me always. And I'm so grateful for you all. Thank you so much just for being kind, man. Also, you know, it, it's really, I wanted to jump into this uh, video and immediately tell you about another reader um, that I found out here today and oh my gosh this woman blew my mind okay really honest to God uh, um, she's been touching on things that I've been picking up on too and uh, but she explains it all so much better um, her name is I, I had to I had to write it down because I just found her like 10 minutes ago okay um tunnel vision xo all right her name is tunnel vision xo out here on youtube oh my gosh you guys seriously i still have the chills from her she's absolutely amazing very very uh, um what do i want to say articulate messages okay um I, i'm she's absolutely amazing honestly um, look her up, Tunnel Vision XO. And the reading that I, I was listening to was, um, she named it something like female woman, but I feel like everybody should hear, should hear this message. So um, I think it was posted like six days ago. Just check her out. She's wonderful. She's fabulous. I love her. I love her. <laughs> All right. I immediately love her. All right, so anyway, I needed to tell you about this that reading because seriously, I still have the chills from it. I didn't even listen to the whole thing because I have to get to work. But um, yeah, you're going to want to check this out, this person out. I'm telling you, she's great. Fabulous. Um, all right, so let's see what we have for you today, okay? <laughs> still thinking about that reading. Ancestral Wisdom, Spring of Healing. Um, I feel like you guys... And I'll, I'll read these out, but I really feel like you're getting, um, your abilities are being heightened. You're getting hidden knowledge from not just the 5D, but higher realms as well. I feel like it's um, uh, otherworldly knowledge, okay? Otherworldly knowledge. Um, but yeah, this is a time of healing, and I feel like you've already been your healing, so this is kind of the time to receive as well, okay? Um, going through that journey, yeah, and the window of gratitude, and you're thankful for every little blessing that you get. Um, but we'll read them, okay? I am worthy. I carry within myself the potential of all the lessons and strengths of 10,000 ancestors who came before me. I will trust myself, my intuition, and my wisdom. See, I mean, I feel like you guys have that hidden knowledge. You've, you've been open to it through this whole entire journey. You've been needing it. You know that the, that the divine has been leading you through this, giving you little bits and pieces of information along the way. I mean, you may not even realize yourselves just how far you've come on this journey and just how much you know. And I feel like knowledge is power. I feel like those who were open to the knowledge and received the messages um, and, uh, and surrendered to it, those are the people now who are going to take the lead, okay? That's, uh, you're jumping into almost like a leadership role. Um, my heart is a fountain of health. Uh, I accept myself. I appreciate my talents and forgive my shortcomings. I love my body. I am beautiful. I love my smile. It is radiant. I love my mind. I am intelligent. My words bring healing to my soul. It's your words. I feel like you guys um, need to continue to say positive affirmations about yourself. Um, know and accept the credit that is due to you, okay, through all of this. Like I just said, some of you may not even realize 
just how much knowledge you hold, just how much this has changed you, okay? Because when we go through changes and it takes a long time, uh, we don't really take time to look back and see where we've come and where we started. If you think about it that way, take a look back. I mean, you guys went from possibly not really standing up for yourself, not voicing your opinion, maybe feeling suppressed by other people or walked all over, and now you're in a place of knowledge, wisdom, strength, and surrendering to the divine and the messages that they're giving you. And you just, um, I feel like you're receiving now all, like more knowledge, otherworldly knowledge. Um, uh, 10,000 ancestors who came before you, that kind of knowledge, okay? Um, it's almost like you're gathering power or like it's, the, they're showing me um, somebody plugging in a battery. So like recharging, I feel like you're recharging here with the spring of healing, all right? Um, possibly refocusing as well. I'm hearing something about a house move. I've been picking up on that as well. Some of you are being called to new locations. Thank you. I heard ley lines. Some of you are being called to different locations to get closer to the energy um, in the earth, in, in the ley lines of the earth, okay? Um, yeah, there's a major shift happening here, okay? And I feel like as you move through this, you know that it's almost like you're not moving. It's almost like the divine has you on this conveyor belt, okay? Um, yeah, like a conveyor belt. You know, like it almost feels like a car wash. There's, there's, they're working on you. They are. Um, you're getting things shot at you from, from one area. Then you move a little further and more things come down to you. Intuition, knowledge, messages. And you move to another area and it's about cleansing, purging. Um, it's almost like the divine is moving you along through this transition, going through this shift, a major shift okay, in, in the world, in, in the earth, and in the way people are thinking and how we're receiving the messages, okay? I feel like the, the divine is working on everything as a whole right now. Um, I am feeling a separation, though. Some people are not open to receive these messages. They're fallen way behind. Um, and I feel like they're going to have a hard time catching up to the ones who are surrendering to this. Does that make sense? You may have to rewind that. <laughs> All right. But yeah, as you go along, I feel like you're just very accepting. Um, you're surrendering. You're faithful. You have faith and trust in the divine. Um, and you're thankful. You're um, Now you may be noticing these changes in yourself more. I know I'll tell you, I've been noticing a sl my sleep schedule is changing. I'm noticing my looks are changing. I'm noticing um, my eating habits are changing. Even down to the, the clothes that I have on, um, I, can, I have more sensitivity to fabrics these days, more sensitivity to smells, sounds. Um, it's almost as though some of us are waking up to be able to even see the matrix, okay? Um, so yeah, there's a, a really, here's the thing. There's a really strong, shift that's happening a real everybody's getting worked on here especially the ones who are surrendering to it you know we have free will to accept this this help from the universe or not right those of us who are who are accepting this and being led down this path while we're being worked on um we're, i feel like we're going to come out into a whole new way of life right some of the these other people though they're being they're being left behind um but i was going somewhere with this where was i going with that i feel like um i feel like there's a distraction that's what it is thank you divine see how and, and it just worked on me there's a distractive energy behind the scenes that we're um that's in our face more than we can see the work that's being done on us on us spiritually okay and that distraction is all of this chaos energy um 
people who are not um, accepting their path and, and not surrendering to the messages, those people are jealous, envious. Uh, it's stirring things up. And right now it's distracting our focus from the shift. So I feel like some of us are in between, like, like feeling that chaotic energy pulling on us, um, attacking us maybe spiritually, you know, wanting to slow our progress, wanting to slow us down, wanting us to second guess ourselves. Sometimes they make you maybe even think that you're crazy, you know, things like that, all right? There's that part that's slowing you down and distracting you, but I'm telling you, um, beyond that, there's so much more happening okay and i feel like it's to the point where now the divine has has reached a level where they're sick of the distractions and they're stopping people in their tracks have you noticed maybe a lift in the energy uh, a couple months ago I, there's many of us out here who felt like we were under some kind of dark cloud i feel like it was some spiritual spell work going on that has been stopped um, divine feminines, divine masculines, the divine beings are being protected. Those of us who are having faith and walking in this path and surrendering to what the divine is doing here, um, we are protected. So you may have noticed it's almost like you're, you're, you feel lighter. Your, your head is a lot clearer. You can think straight. Um, and, you know, the divine has to clear that energy so that it doesn't muck up your head and weigh you down so that this lighter energy and all the things that they're trying to change can come through for you. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's it's almost like this. there's this giant chaos energy that's trying to get in and distract all of this change and the divine just comes in and squashes it. <laughs> okay, basically, because this change, this shift has to happen. It has to happen. And people or that negative energy, because that negative energy can take over people, okay? Um, if, they're, if they're in a weakened state or um, they're living like a toxic lifestyle or they're, you know, um, not living a healthy lifestyle, something like that, right? If they're in some kind of weakened state, that negative energy can take them over. And I feel like it. in some instances, I feel very much that it jumps from one person to the next. So you could have a whole community of haters, okay, that are um, kind of the host for that dark energy, right, that's trying to stop the light workers, the ones who are walking in faith, the ones that are here to um, help inspire others to go through this change. All right, do you see what I'm saying? I hope so. <laughs> I couldn't repeat it if I tried, guys. Just just hit the rewind. Um, but yeah, I feel like this, your gratitude, you say thanks to the divine every day. Every day you wake up, you thank God, you thank them for the little things, you know. I mean, and it's it's little stuff that you thank them for. Um, and they help you along the way. And I feel like, too, nighttime, they're showing me nighttime. <laughs> um, dreams. Pay attention to your dreams right now. And smoking of sage. This is going to help you. Um, and I feel like you know this because you're clairvoyant. This is this uh, burning of the sage, cleansing your energy, um, the positive affirmations, your, keep your vibes high, as high as you can, right? Um, and your meditative thank yous and, and um, thankfulness and great gratefulness for the divine to help you. All of those things, these three things together is going to help fight off and ward off that negative energy until it's stamped out for good. Okay, and the divine is working on that now too. So, I mean, there's a major, everything is, it almost feels like it's being, some things are being deconstructed for good, but then other things are just being upgraded. There's lots and lots of upgrades and um, changes going on, not just within ourselves spiritually, but also in the on the earth okay that's another thing too on my other channel 
I predicted um, some tsunamis and floods coming here, um, possibly in the next month, right? And that uh, the reader here, Tunnel Vision XO, she was talking about much of the same things, right? Um, I was talking about maybe like um, an underwater eruption, things like that. Uh, the divine really truly is changing things, not just within us, but in the world. So you may notice weird weather calamities, things like that. Okay, catastrophes are may start to happen. You could feel rumbles underneath you. There's there's a major shift going on, not just within us, but in the world. And um, yeah, Tunnel Vision XO, she, she described things way better than I can. So please check her out, okay, because she's fabulous. Um, so let's see what's on the, oh, and on the bottom of the deck. We've got envy already, okay? Hostilities. Look at this. But God is out here working their, working their magic, doing their thing, right? Good positive energy, juju. Um, and I feel like the divine has got this. If these people are envious and, and hostile over the changes that are being made right now. And these are the people, like I said, that are fighting this change. Okay? They're fighting it. Um, you know, I feel a fear, okay, off of these people. I have to say, sometimes when people fight change, you know, it's because they um, don't understand it. You know, people are afraid of things that they don't understand. Um, and they don't like shakeups and they don't like it when things are out of their control this all of this it's in the divine has control here the divine has control of this change of this shift and it's coming whether these people like it or not so but this is that dark energy and i feel like it bounces from from one person to the next i'm feeling it's um it's a whole community of people um that could be trying to go up against you or do do things to slow your progress or ridicule you or try to stop you altogether it's not gonna happen just keep walking in faith and keep knowing who's creating these changes and and keep having faith and believe that they're for for the positive right um the divine look it's happening whether these people like it or not um yeah yeah because you're out here in the sun right and here comes a whole community of people wanting to take action i feel like against you collective against you um but you're in the sun as long as you remain in the sun this negative energy can't reach you. So as long as you stay positive, um, upbeat, right? Happy, jazzy, dance around if you have to, you know, listen to some good music, eat some healthy food, get out into nature, stay grounded. There's also something about the water. Keep drinking water. If you're a divine being, you know what I do? I bless my water before I drink it, okay? Um, so yeah, I, you can do things like that. Just know that, um, um, you're, you're still showing the divine that you're open and surrendering to this path. Um, yeah, you're hitting a time when you're in a lot of blossoming, blossoming abundance, right? I feel like a portal here has opened up for you a new life. You're allowed to enter in. These people are not. That's what this is. You are allowed to enter because you're the one who had faith. You're the one who surrendered to the information. You're the one who um, surrendered and allowed the divine to lead you. No matter what people said, no matter what they threw at you, no matter what you've had to endure. And this is why you're allowed through this portal of abundance and they're not. Now they may be running, chasing after you. Um, but yeah, I feel like they, there's nothing they can do to stop it. And if they don't surrender, they can't come into this positive, um, this positive portal with all this dark negative energy. This negative energy is not allowed to pass through here. 
okay? Um, and this is what, this energy is what's getting stomped out, all right? Yeah, people are, I feel like they're overheated here. They're angry. Um, you know, Archangel Michael, this is a good card here, okay? But I'm feeling that fire from within from these people. I'm also sensing that, you know what, you have spiritual protection. This is Archangel Michael also guarding this portal. Archangel Michael's at the front of the portal, okay? These people can't get in. This energy, this dark negative energy must not infiltrate, and it's not possible, um, not with all of the spiritual protection. I feel like you're in a time of um, cornucopia now. If this is you um, open to receive, okay, and, and knowing that you deserve it. All right, and cornucopia, the, all this abundance, it's not just an abundance in food and wealth and, you know, it has nothing really to do with material things. It has everything to do with your stability, your confidence, um, your faith, your intuition, your discernment. Um, yeah, I mean, you have a cornucopia of everything. And look at with the 11, that's a divine number. Here's this butterfly, major change. Major transformation here happening, okay? The world, it's, t it's, listen, the world is ready for a better timeline, guys. You know? Um, yeah, and the ones who've been walking in faith, we understand it. it's time for people to get respect, consideration. It's time for people to open their eyes um, to a better way of treating other people and the world and the earth. It's time. And so the shift is happening, and I feel like it's not, ju it's not with um, just the divine on the 5D, it's with other, this is otherworldly information, okay? So maybe um, different galaxies, all right? Palladians we're talking about. Um, we're talking about, um, yeah, otherworldly knowledge and other... Um, dimensions, right? There's more dimensions other than the 3D, 4D, 5D. There's 60, 70, 80. This is the ten, from this is wisdom from 10,000 ancestors who came before you. So, yeah, um, yeah, and you're out here having a victory because you accepted this path, because you surrendered, because you're accepting and receiving the information. And there's people out here who are jealous of this. Um, it's really the energy. There's a dark energy that does not want this shift. Okay? And the divine, you know, no, it's, it's going to happen. The divine is in charge. Yeah, look. Even some of your caring connections have this same dark attachment to them. So right now, like I said, it can jump from one person to the next. There could be people in your inner circle, friends, family, exes, that have now have this dark attachment. I cannot make it up. I cannot make it up. And this dark energy, okay, the evil energy here in this world is trying to slow down or stop the shift or infiltrate this positive new portal for change and yet that's why Archangel Michael is guarding the door. Um, the divine is out here orchestrating and in charge of this change. And I feel like this dark attachment, like I said, it jumps from one person to the next. Honestly, collective, be careful who you trust. You know, be careful who you trust and keep your energy as clean as you can. Protect Protect yourself. Protect your energy. Be mindful that this dark energy is out here bouncing around, trying to attach itself to the natives, right? I mean, that's what, basically, that's what's happening. Um, so, yeah, even some of your caring connections may once in a while show you, like, a whole weird side to them. Yeah, that's this energy. So be careful that you're not infiltrated. You're 
you know, um, bless your home, cleanse your home space, anoint it, right? Um, they're showing me how people marked their doors um, during Exodus, right? Um, marking their doors so that that bad energy that was sent in wouldn't infiltrate the home and, and take their children. You know, it's that story from the Bible. There's movies about it, too. You can look it up. But, yeah, that's anoint your home. Um, you know, say your positive affirmations every day. Cleanse your space. Stay keeping up with the, with the faith, right? Um, because this t dark attachment's doing all they can to distract us. You know, have you noticed we're, we're looking at like karmic energy, karmic energy, karmic energy. Meanwhile, the divine is trying to put us through a transformation. Which one is more important? Think about that. So this is a dark energy out here, guys, trying to distract us. From, from what it is, this positive change that we need to accept and be open to. You see? So, yeah, um, just be aware of that, all right? Let me get some advice for you, because this is really, I'm sorry, it's getting to be a very long reading, but I do love this. Um, yeah, see, I feel like this is it, too, at the split. The divine is, is, is carrying you, right? Um, the ones who are open to this change and going with the flow and surrendering to the shift, right? Um, they're coming to get you. They're, they're, you're, um, you're with them, right? And I feel like though at the same time, though, you, you, it's almost like you're still focused on the never-ending karmic story and the never-ending pain and the never-ending struggles and the ne this is what this this is what this dark entity wants you to focus on when really in all reality our focus should be on the divine and and where they're leading us okay so yeah this dark energy out here bouncing around um trying to spiritually attack you it's to stop you it's to distract you Remain strong. Remain headstrong. Okay? Yeah. Be flexible with yourself. Um, but see, this to me, it's the end to a cycle. And that's what this is, right? Um, this to me is like on one side, we've got the dark energy. On the other side, we've got your spiritual transformation. And you're kind of like in the middle. I feel like you flip back and forth, right? I feel like the divine wants you to stay on track. Go with the flow that they're asking you to be on, right? Try to not pay so much attention to this dark energy because that's what this energy wants you to do. I feel like you, you, it may have you distracted or, you know, um, you're focused more on that, this karmic, dark, negative energy. I feel like you're supposed to remain positive and thankful and fe and just know that you're blessed. Every day, walk in your blessings. Focus on your blessings. Focus on the positive. Be open to hear. She's listening for messages here. Using her intuition with her eyes shut. All right? So that, yeah, and I feel like everything is going to start flowing to you. And if you have questions, ask the divine. I feel like um, they will give you the truth, okay? Yeah, so I feel like um, some, of, some of us are focused on n the negative energy rather than the positive changes. And the divine wants you to keep going with the flow of the positive, right? And you're almost there. You're almost to the end of this. I feel like very soon, very, very soon, the divine is going to stamp out this negativity. Just keep moving forward. Stay in your north node. Stay in your lane. Focus on you, your blessings. Be thankful. Be grateful. Say your pos positive affirmations. Do your cleansings, your prayers, right? And just stay in that positive space. Okay, and the divine will take you through this transformation. 
Whew, anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you, and I hope you guys check out the, the reader, um, Tunnel Vision XO. She's fabulous. She's amazing. Anyway, until next time, everyone. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe, right? And until next time, take care of you, and peace out.